These days, everyone is talking about artificial intelligence and chatbots. Google even released Bard, a new AI collaborator, earlier this year. AI is probably the only thing that can give Taylor Swift's popularity a run for its money. AI chatbots have quickly become some of our favorite tools to use. They can do many things from helping us understand new concepts to acting as a soundboard for our ideas. Whether you have an e-commerce store, a blog, or even a personal website for your services, integrating chatbots and virtual assistants can be a great addition to the user experience. This could be with things like personalized offerings, decreased customer wait times, and providing quick customer support. Since chatbots have been a craze everywhere, I decided to build one of my own. At first, I thought it would be super complicated, but thankfully I was wrong. I'm going to show you how we can build a chatbot in less than 10 minutes using Angular and Firebase. To build out our chatbot, we'll be using the Palm API. From the Firebase side, we'll be using Firebase extensions, Firebase hosting, and Cloud Firestore. And then we'll use Angular for the UI and the Angular Fire library to integrate that UI with Firebase. With that, let's get straight into it. If you want to follow along, all the code is hosted on our GitHub repo that is linked in the description. First, we have to connect to a Firebase project. I'm going to use a project I've previously created called Chat With My Palms. To connect our local code base to our Firebase project, we import the project's configuration info into our environment variables files. You can find more info on how to do this in the readme file. We then run npm install in our terminal to install all the packages that we need for this demo. We'll also import a UI that our friends at Angular have provided us to play with. Which reminds me, can we take a second to talk about how amazing Angular is? For those that don't know, Angular is a TypeScript framework that gives teams the tools needed to build scalable web applications with confidence. It has an amazing developer community and also a vast ecosystem of packages, one of them being Angular Fire. With the Angular Fire package, we can connect to Firebase APIs directly from our Angular code, which makes it super seamless to use. In this demo, we'll be using Angular Fire to connect with the Firestore and Firebase hosting APIs. To do so, we first initialize the Angular Fire package and then initialize our Firebase project in our code base using the Angular Fire library. The next step is to connect our app to our Firestore database which is a scalable and real-time database that keeps our data in sync across our app. Once you have created one in the Firebase console, we can link to our Firestore instance in the app.config and app.component files. Step three, let's connect our Firestore database with our Firebase chatbot with Palm API extension. Firebase extensions are pre-packaged solutions that you can quickly deploy into your apps and configure to your needs. The chatbot with Palm API extension brings the magic of the Palm API to your application, allowing it to comprehend natural language prompts and generate natural language answers. Installing and configuring this extension is done entirely in your Firebase console. Navigate through the extension's onboarding flow with the following values. After that, create a collection in your Firestore database and call it Discussions. This collection is going to act as a bridge between our app and the chatbot extension. Every time we post a prompt into this Discussions collection, it will trigger a cloud function created by our extension that calls the Palm API with our prompt. It will then automatically insert the Palm API's response back into the Discussions collection. This extension strips away those complexities and makes it easy and intuitive for us to enjoy the power of Google's LLM model. All right, all right, all right. Yep, that's definitely Matthew McConaughey. Now, with the chatbot, we might want our users to feel like they're talking back and forth with an actual person. How are we going to achieve that? We do it by creating the submit prompt method in our app component class that automatically reads and writes to our Firestore database. With that, we're done with our backend. Let's host our project and see our final result. Before running the app, a quick reminder to go through the readme file to correctly configure your app to your own Firebase project. After that's finished, we can deploy to our Firebase hosting website with the ng-deploy command. Angular Fire does its magic and brings our chatbot to life. <clears throat> Anyways, let's check it out. It looks amazing. Now I encourage you to customize the UI to fit your own application needs. And you can also set up a custom domain on Firebase hosting so that your users can find your web app on a domain of your choice. Which reminds me, I got to secure chatwithmypalms.com after this.
Well, that's it. Let's try out the new chatbot. Hmm, what should I ask it? Could you give me five one-liners to say to a random celebrity walking in New York? Awesome. Let's see if my bot has a sense of humor. What do you call a fish without no eyes? Still fish. <laughs> Amazing. That's a solid opener. Notice how the chatbot can refer back to previous texts in our conversation. This really gives it that feeling that you're speaking to another person. The only thing that's left to do is to roam the streets of New York in search of Taylor Swift. Now, you might be asking yourself how you might customize this for your own application. The context and temperature fields are designed for just that. The context field lets us set a prompt to train the model before we launch our chatbot. The temperature field lets us decide how volatile the responses from the API will be. Let's try them out. Let's set our context to be extremely nice and thoughtful. Talk like you have a lot of empathy and be excessively nice. Always offer solutions to problems and be very idealistic. We save the configuration and recreate our discussions collection. Now let's try out our new chatbot by telling it that I broke my table and don't know what to do. Wow, that's so comforting. We can also go in a completely different direction and have it be a salesperson. Speak like a salesperson, try to sell the user a new product. Let's ask the chatbot the same thing and see the difference in responses. You should get a new table. Our tables are made of the finest materials and will last for years. I'm sure they will, chatbot, I'm sure they will. Now, if we crank the temperature up to 0.9, we can see that the responses are varied even though I'm asking the chatbot the same question. I urge you to play around with these fields to tailor the chatbot towards your own needs. Boom! As we said, in less than 10 minutes, we have built and deployed a real-time responsive chatbot that can be customized to increase engagement rates, shorten wait times, and even increase personalization. AI is progressing at a rapid pace and keeping up with the latest trends will be key to making sure you can utilize cutting edge technology to help your ventures. Firebase makes it easy to harness these new technologies and customize them to your own use case. Alas, thank you for coming on this journey with me. Check out the Firebase documentation for more info and have fun chatbotting out there.